Do you think you will live long enough to see triple digit silver? That's a good question. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. Will you see $100 silver in your lifetime? That's a good question. And my local coin shop dealer, Tim Marshner, thinks so too. You'll hear from him in, in just a few minutes. Silver's had a really nice bounce after the recent jobs report we got and the fear on Wall Street that the Fed taper may be delayed until next year. But we know silver's been lagging gold this year, and that certainly happens from time to time. Silver can be behind gold. Sometimes it can lead gold. It's not always gold that leads silver, but gold is basically a mainstream investment, even though most people don't think of it that way right now. Central banks have been net buyers of gold since 2011. So for a decade, we've seen gold enjoying its status as a hedge against inflation, or uh, actually more uh, correctly, a hedge against real interest rates dropping, largely due to inflation. And frankly, I think gold is seen as a great way to sleep better at night. Okay, I know it helps me do that. But silver is uh, frequently seen as just an industrial commodity. Actually, some of these silver that you're looking at right here come from my grandfather. Grandpa Earl decided to pull out some of my foreign silver. <laughs> but again, silver is seen predominantly as an uh, industrial metal. And there are times where it's seen as a monetary metal all around the world. It just swings back and forth sometimes between industrial commodity, uh, monetary metal. But when silver is seen as money, real money, by investment houses or, or you know, retail investors in a big way, it can dramatically rise in price. In the 80s, we had a huge rise. And yes, the Hunt brothers are largely and somewhat incorrectly blamed for that spike. But in 2011, when QE2 was announced, it went up. Central banks, they started flooding us with paper inflation. But Inflation, as felt by Mr. and Mrs. Jones, was static. You know, asset prices shot up, sure. Inflation hit Wall Street, but not Main Street. It hit the stock market, not the supermarket. So people backed off silver. They bought the lie that QE1, QE2, QE3, Operation Twist, all that stuff back then was somehow successful because the inflation, as measured by CPI, didn't materialize. By the way, that gave rise to a whole new generation of silver stackers and it gave them, me, a great buying opportunity. But I think that's about to change. Why? Because this time, all the factors are still in place, but much, much worse. And this time, we do have outrageous non-transitory inflation building in our economy. We have universal basic income spawned from the pandemic that is not going away, even though I think today uh, support is scheduled to end. I don't think it's gonna, okay? I believe this administration and the Congress are gonna be forced to come to the rescue and pour out more so-called stimulus. I also think the central bank digital currencies that are on the way are a big difference. I think that's gonna spur even more direct payments to the masses. So I think inflation is here with a vengeance. Mrs. Yankee said to me just the other weekend, Honey, you know the nuts that you love to buy? Um, well, they've doubled in price in 2021. <laughs> she said, you're on peanuts now, pal. <laughs> All right, so back to silver. Silver is approximately 85% correlated to the price of gold. So where you see gold going now is likely what I think is going to be seen in the silver markets. I think silver could outperform gold. And I think a 
40 to 1 ratio. Yeah, you heard me. 40 to 1 is possible. So what does that mean? Well, so if we use $4,000 gold, okay, and we use a ratio of like 40 to 1, you're looking at you know, $100 silver. Now, what do I think might cause that? A huge economic crisis. Not an economic concern like we're having right now. No, a crisis similar to 08. But if silver is ever seen in the general public as money, and this is where I think it will eventually end up, back as real money in the minds of the populace, I think there's a case for 16 to 1 ratio between uh, gold and silver, maybe even a 10 to 1 ratio, which, by the way, would pretty much match the natural ratio of gold to silver that comes out of the ground. But that crazy ratio would require not just a crisis, but a collapse in our fiat currency. Might not be likely, but I think it's certainly possible, and it's why I'm a prepper stacker. So that's my take on silver reaching $100 an ounce. Let's see what Tim has to say. Do you think you will live long enough to see triple digit silver? That's a good question. So already you know my answer. Um, the ratio is what concerns me. The ratio is now north of what, 75 again. Right. And where should it be? Uh, if it was not being manipulated, it would be in the 50s. And, you know, probably lower than that down the road because um, gold, the higher gold goes, the, the more finite the audience gets. Um, yeah, it's, I, I think it, it's going to be difficult. Right now, I don't think, as I said, you know, my one of my rants, I don't think they're shorting much much silver now. A lot of people thought that wasn't a rant. You're gonna have to step up your game well, to satisfy some people, but. <laughs> I'm trying to be too polite to let you see a real rant. Oh boy. But I'm telling you, the situation in Afghanistan is getting me there. Triple digit silver, I think it's coming. The question is, do you think? We should be on the way. We should be on the way. I mean, it, right now, if you engage supply and demand, it should be in the mid 30s. That's where silver should be. Yeah. Paper silver should be in the mid 30s. Yeah. And physical silver should is, probably be. Already is. Hopefully, you've got a lot of years left in you, wow. Tim. <laughs> that's, that's the. <laughs> that's the thing you're trying to figure out, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. No man in my family has lived very much past 81. So. You will definitely. Yes, I'm, I'm going to beat the record. You better. Um, but I think this is the decade we lose control. We lose control. The Fed loses control. The government loses control. Yeah. Um, I think inflation gets out of control. And I think it could pop all the bubbles. Then we see it shoot way up. Uh, look at it this way. They've already spent close to $3 trillion on over the last year, 2020 and 2021. They've already spent that. Okay? It, maybe it hasn't been physically spent but it's already committed. The Fed is buying $120 billion of spending taxpayer money right. uh, every month to buy mortgage-backed securities, okay? Those are probably already toxic, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, that's, you know, $1.44 trillion, okay? Um, the last, this the so-called infrastructure bill was $1.9 trillion. The bill that Nancy Pelosi has put on the table is $3.5 trillion. You put all that together, they've just taken a $9 trillion chunk out of taxpayer money, which is not going to be paid. There's, there's no way of paying that. I don't understand why they are accelerating the collapse of the dollar because there's no alternative. And you know, digital currency is not an alternative. You know, being the world's reserve currency, it doesn't just affect us, mm -hmm. it affects the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, what they're doing in our Congress is causing a calamity for the rest of the world. Let's pretend you do live to 95. 
will we see $100 an ounce silver? I, I think so, because I don't think the currency can last that long. The currency is the problem. And it, this insanity that's going on in Washington, I don't understand. Even our reps that we have, four Democratic reps in New Hampshire, okay, we don't have any Republicans reps, none of them are speaking up. Mm. They're not speaking up about anything, okay? Oh, yes, well, we're going to try to get the cost of prescription drugs down. Uh, what about what's going on now? They do what they're told. And that, that's not right. And where's your moral compass? $9 trillion is no joke. No. We can't pay that. No, and not. I think that's going to be the problem. And I think that's what's going to drive the metals up. Uh, it'll drive silver up a lot faster than gold. Thank you so much, Tim. That was awesome. All right. Let me let me grab at least what I can get. You're going to get me some more, right? Uh, yeah, I suppose I'll have to get you some You know, more. you've got the Type 2s, right? I've got plenty of Type 2s. i got a half a Monster Box. Half a Monster Box. Hmm. So how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I got two more, so that's ten. Ten. Let me get ten. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> hey, how are those stickers holding up? Oh, they're not holding up at all. I mean, every day three or four go out the door. 